Finally, a movie about ugly people. It is about time that we get some representation. But wait, what if there was a way you could make yourself pretty? There, that's better. Now let's discuss uglies. Uglies is a new Netflix original movie that would have felt right at home 10 years ago when we were living in the age of young adult novels getting adapted into big budget movies. You know, when everyone wanted to have their own Hunger Games moment. This movie takes place in a dystopian future where, because of logic and story, we have decided the best way to keep everyone in check is the promise of being pretty once they hit a certain age. Somehow that's going to prevent the humans from ruining this planet. This movie opens with a pretty ham-fisted monologue about how humans exactly ruined this planet. And yes, I do agree that we are making a lot of choices, the polar ice caps are melting, and there's just a lot of stuff happening, weather is at the worst that it's ever been. All that said, it just came off as very preachy and just like beating a dead horse. I mean, if anyone is still denying that we are ruining this planet, do you really think being told that they are doing so in a teen movie is going to change their opinions? I don't think so. Joey King stars as a girl who is waiting for her moment to shine and finally be pretty. But once she meets a friend who decides to challenge the norm, it leads her on a journey of discovery that there is more to this procedure than Laverne Cox is letting on. The acting in this movie is about what you would expect from a young adult movie. Paris? What are you doing here? I was worried. Things are just different. Yeah, you'll get it. For what it's worth, I do think that the Hunger Games movies actually did have great acting, but that was more of a fluke. Although I will say, Laverne Cox, girl, you did pretty sweet playing that villainous bitch. Overall, most of this movie is quite well done, and I really thought the Atmos mix, the sound mixing on this movie, was phenomenal. Now, what I didn't like is some of the CGI in this movie. We're talking PS2 graphics here, folks. There's a scene in the midway of this movie that is so burdened by bad CG that it made me wonder why they didn't just cut the scene out altogether. The scene required a a lot of CG and their team clearly wasn't up to the challenge and I am not saying that I could make better CG I don't know the first thing about making CGI I assume that it is very challenging that being said if you're looking at a finished product that looks like this, you need to think, is this good enough to release to the public, or does this look like you're watching an Atari game? I might be exaggerating with that, but it's still, I'm just telling you people, Spider-Man 1 vibes. Spider-Man 1. And this is 2024. How come older movies looked better than this one? Maybe that Netflix budget is not as nice and generous as we thought it was. I have not read the books that the series is based on, so I had no idea that this was going to be so open-ended, but man, the way this movie ends, you definitely feel like you you got chopped off at the legs. You have no closure whatsoever. I do hope that they adapt the other novels into movies because otherwise this is going to feel like you got slapped in the face. There's absolutely no closure to this movie. You can take one look at me and tell that I am not the demographic that they are targeting for this movie. I am not a young teenage girl and I am not a young teenage boy. So I don't think I am quite who they're targeting for this movie. That being said, I was kind of intrigued when I saw the commercial because I was hearing about the premise of us ruining the planet and us focusing too much on beauty and I thought wow that actually is something that I think this planet is definitely dealing with all the flaws you have today will be gone tomorrow it does seem like a lot of people are super obsessed with superficial things like looks and appearance and your clothes and, and just things that aren't as important in the end of the day. You can be a hot little bird, but if you are ugly inside, then that doesn't matter. You have to be a good person inside. And I think that there's a very fine line between confidence and narcissism that is getting smaller and smaller and harder to see by the day. Don't believe me? Just go to the gym and have a look at all the people that are sitting there spending more time photographing themselves and looking in the mirror than they actually are working out. Are you there working out for yourself? Or are you there to get attention from people? Anyways, that's the part of the movie that pulled me in and made me interested. I saw a commercial. I thought, okay, it's a movie about people where they're going to be made pretty when they turn a certain age. That is a very fascinating concept. It's kind of original. You can't deny. And it pulled me in and made me interested to watch it. However, I just don't think it really lived up to the promise of its potential. And that is because... In the end, this is just a young adult novel, and those just aren't always that great. All my life, I wanted to be pretty. 
I thought it would change everything. All in all, I can't say that Uglies is not worth watching at all. There are moments of entertainment in this movie, but it is held back by hammy performances, some questionable story choices, and the occasional bad CGI that just really doesn't hold up or look good at all. So for me, this movie is a 6 out of 10. I get that I am probably not the demographic for this movie, so maybe someone that is more in that demographic might enjoy this movie more, but that is my opinion as a 37-year-old man who just was looking for a sci-fi movie that looked ultimately kind of entertaining and ended up being a little bit let down by it. That's my thoughts on this movie. What did you guys think of it? Please put your thoughts on this movie in the comments and let me know. Did you like this video? If you did, then hit the like button. And if you want to hear more things from me, subscribe to this channel. Later.